so Mythical of Sausage cheated during the dragon fight. For this, we confiscated his beloved pickaxe. It's time to return it to him. But let's not make it too easy. To all the geeks and nerds out there, welcome back to another episode on the Legacy SMP server. Here is the mob farm we built last time. I've been doing some AFK in here and there, and things are going pretty well. We've got, uh, got quite a few drops in there. I've had to add an extra couple of chests to uh, hold all the sugar boxes. So let's go down there and check out where we're up to, and then we'll move on to the main project for today. Hi. <laughs> That's my face. So let's get down here so you can see I've had to, had to add uh, some extra chests here because this one was totally full up all the way to the brim with shulker boxes of a whole bunch of whole bunch of gear, all these drops we need, which is great stuff. Obviously the hopper's now full up as well. And this double chest has also got a bunch of shulker boxes with a bunch of gear as well. So that is really good. So we've got rocket for days. I've uh, started to uh, organize my stuff. So in my ended chest now, I've got uh, I've got a full, I've got a full chest almost of rockets. So here we go. Here's my rocket chest. So we're starting to get organized with our shulker boxes. Got my redstone box coming along. Got some glass, got some got my backup stuff and my valuables. So now we've uh, now we've got our, our, our shulker boxes from last episode. We're starting to get organized a bit more. There it is, beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. But anyway, today's project, we are going to be uh, setting up some, uh, so, well, some some trials, some uh, some little mini games. Um, some might call them traps, but um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna um, set, get something sorted out uh, for sausage because we've got his pick, the pick that he uh, he used on the dragon fight. He cheated, so we uh, we confiscated that pick, but we want to give it back to him but not gonna make it too easy for him. So let's head on over to Fwip's base over in the Cyberpunk area, which is over that way. And yeah, let's get into the bunker and see what we can build up. Look at this majestic nether portal. This has got Fwip written all over it. So let's hop on in here, see if we can find him. Hopefully he's in the bunker, ready for us. Yeah, ready for us to start this project. Hey Fwip, we're in your basement and we have been busy clearing some area. So um, this is ready for the, the, the trials of sausage, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. the. <laughs> We need a better name for it. Something, uh, I don't know. The sausage links, the links. I don't know. I'm trying to think of a, a meat pun there, but <laughs> coming up short here. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So what we're going to have here is we're going to have, um, well, we've got, we've got sausages pick, right? And we want to give it back yes, to him. It's, uh, somewhere, somewhere in there. Yeah. We, we want to get it back to him. But, in style yeah yeah we don't want to make it too easy for him. Right. So mm -hmm. we had, we had exactly. this idea of um, having a few little, let's say, uh, let's say a few little tests, let's say, and yeah. if he passes them, then he can get his pick back. It's quite exactly. simple, right? I think that, I think that is a totally fair thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, he, he lost it by doing a little bit of like smudging of the rules and everything like mm -hmm. that. And I mm -hmm. think if we just kind of, you know, give ourselves a little bit, like you got to earn it. Yeah. You gotta, yeah. You got to earn yeah. it. Yeah. And we got, we got to teach him, a, teach him a little bit of a lesson, you know, that, exactly. Don't cheat. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, so, so we're have... I think we really want to make sure he fails at this. We just set up like a this jousting arena that fires arrows back at him, and then he's just, <laughs> it, it'll just be the same as last time. And... <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, so we're gonna have. So let's just briefly say what we're gonna have. So we're gonna have over here. We're gonna have well, one of the trials. I won't say what it is just yet because we've got to build it up. But one of the trials is gonna be over the in this M. corner. Yeah, where that is. So it's gonna be an entrance and exit over there, kind of marked up where they're gonna be. And then we're gonna have another one over here, where this uh, this kind of this kind of end shape is over here. There's going to be another one. And then finally, there's going to be one more over in this, this wing right here. And if he passes all of these, then his pick will be revealed. <laughs> Perfect. And what we're thinking about doing on that is like, as he makes it through every single one of these, this will be like a long corridor down mm -hmm. there. And we're just going to have the pick sitting there. Just kind of a little like yeah. taunting thing, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's just sitting there. Just He's just like... Maybe we'll have it singing this kind of like angelic hum to it, like ah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I can gonna stop there before. It. Maybe yeah. we can get like the Halo theme song going. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome! That'd yeah, be, I, I can imagine a good one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then as he kind of completes the trials, a doorway will open, mm -hmm. and then another door, and eventually yeah. he can actually get it back. And, yeah. But he has to complete all the trials yeah, in order to do it. And then it. I think. I think, you know, you're doing the technical side here. If you want mm -hmm. to make something so after he picks up his pickaxe and is like walking back out, then the floor just like opens to lava. Uh -huh. You know, that's I'll leave that one up to you. Yeah, uh, well, these we can, uh, we can cut this part out of the video for sure. But, you know, yeah, well, that, there, there, uh, there, there will be a chance of death. Let's put it that way. But Sausage is a cool guy. I'm sure he'll he'll be fine. <laughs> OK, perfect. <laughs> that's what I liked here. Well, I have a. Uh, 
I've been busy down here doing all the digging and mm-hmm. a, or a lot of the digging. You've definitely been down here helping us uh, out as well. Mm-hmm. And I think it's time for me. I'm just going to borrow this thing here for a second to, you know, pass pass the torch off to you. Okay. Nice and uh, I know I, I really have the technical expertise here. So I want to give you a chance to learn a little okay, bit more yeah, yeah. on this one. Fair enough. So if you want to, you know, mess around with coming up with these designs and see if you can't help. And if you need like an expert's help, you can call on me and I can come in here and boopity bops some of the redstone dust around and you, yeah all that and make it work for you mm-hmm. yeah no worries yeah, if, if i need some help i'm sure i will i will i'll call on your expertise all right nice one all right very cool i before we get out of here though before mm-hmm. we get out of here have you yep. seen this cave <laughs> this just giant black hole in the wall <laughs> yeah oh, i'm, I'm sorry of... <laughs> this is just amazing it's so big Look up here. Look oh at wow this. this is huge it's wow, really cool. <laughs> I'm sure you could turn this into something cool, couldn't you? It's got potential. Yeah, yeah that might, I might have to bring that down here for round two. Of, I'm trying to get that creeper that's wandering around. It's, it got out of the range. Oh, well. <laughs> I, yeah, sorry. I just I was just like, what the, the heck is this? I saw it got out of the corner. I was like, I got to go look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think it's time to get busy. So I'm going to get cracking and then uh, I'll hand over to you afterwards for the, the decoration and making things look good. All right. Sounds great, man. Thank you so very much for the help here. No worries. That piece of diorite represents Sausage's pick. That's where it's going to be, fully on display, but inaccessible, at least for the time being. So, uh, yeah, this is what we're going to have. So I think here I kind of laid out um, some piston doors we're going to have. I'm not sure exactly what design I'm going to go with, but at the moment I'm thinking about the etho door. You know, it's got a hole in the center so we can see all the way through uh, to see the pick at the very end. And there's going to be three of these doors, uh, all piston doors. And yeah, that once once all three are open, then that will give access to the pick at the end. Now, how do these, these doors get opened? Well, they have to go through three of these trials that we're going to have set up over here. So the first one is this one over here. I've made a start on it. So there's going to be an entrance door right here and an exit door there. And this is going to be a little bit of parkour. So it shouldn't be too difficult. We're going to have some blocks to jump on. So it's going to make sure I can actually do it. Make sure it's not too difficult. Whee! And then last jump. There we go. So it's doable. So if I can do it, then I'm sure sausage can. But we need to make it a bit more difficult than that, I think. So how about some lava and some pistons moving these out in a particular time and see if we can do it. I think that's probably what we're going to go with. But then I do need to test it to make sure <laughs> it's actually doable. So yeah, let me get that built up and then we can give it a try. Some redstone has been added. So this is the next phase. Let's uh, give this thing a try. So what I've added here is a button right here and that will set this uh, this set this off in motion. And basically what will happen is these blocks will be, uh, be extended one after the other. And uh, th all of this will be covered in lava. So you've got to time your jumps correctly. So let's give this a test and make sure this actually works. And I'll show you the, uh, the circuit underneath. So we come in here, we press this button. And as these things are, are pushed up, we have to jump on them. So before the lava gets in, let's test it, make sure we can do it. Yes, okay. So it's definitely doable. <laughs> well, without lava and the, and the stress of, uh, of trying to complete it anyway. So yeah, it should, it should work. And basically what we've got here, let's just have a quick look. So our button is underneath that block there on top of that block. And over here, we've got some redstone. So that redstone line powers, uh, powers these, these, um, these, these comparators. So this goes into a, a fade out clock just to keep that, just to extend that pulse. And then uh, this goes into these, basically into the bottom of all of these blocks. So first of all, this, this one gets powered for this block. Then we've got a bit of a delay with these repeaters. And it's basically just the same line, the same power that goes all the way through all of these blocks, extending them all with uh, obviously repeaters in there to give us the right delay. So I've tweaked the timers a bit just to make sure um, I think we can do it. So I think we can. So the last thing to do for this one, at least, is to uh, is to get the lava in and the floor and uh, get some walls around it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put as much glass around this as possible so we can all watch and mock <laughs> mock sausage as he as he does this. And when you come out the other side over here, this is where we're going to have a, a lever somewhere over here, which will open the door, allowing him out and flipping that lever will also open the first piston, which is over there, the first piston door, which will be that one right there. So we've got a bit of uh, a bit of warring up to do there and so obviously some piston doors to make so yeah let's get this one finished up with the glass and then we can work on the second one the second trial which is going to be this one over here i've got uh, i've got these shocker boxes already ready oh i fell down <laughs> but as i was saying i've already got these shocker boxes ready with all of the gear so this is for the next project and we've got one over here as well for the final the final test will be this one just over here so this one's going to be pretty cool as well so yeah looking forward to getting these done all right let's just finish this one up and then we can move on it's time to give this thing a test for reals. <laughs> We've got to try it out. So uh, just in case I've emptied my inventory and I do have a fire resistance potion just in case, not that I need to save myself from dying. I've uh, got a bit down here, so set our respawn point just in case, but 
Hopefully this will work. Let's just see it working without me doing anything first. We press the button and then the blocks pop up <laughs> one after the other. It looks a lot more difficult with the lava involved. <laughs> and we should be able to get back and all the lava goes back again afterwards. So kind of, I haven't filled this up with source blocks all the way around because obviously once the blocks come up, that would have deleted those source blocks anyway. So I thought better just to keep it kind of uh, in movement like this. I've put down, I think, five, five different source blocks around. So I think that's all right. So let's, let's, let's do this. Ready? Wait. Here, there, I've got to kind of anticipate a little bit over there, over here. Oh no, fire resistance, quick, too slow, no. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> it's a good job I took all my stuff off, it's all in here. It's all here, it's all safe and sound on my bits and pieces that I had on me, so it's all good. Let's give that thing, and let's, get, let's try it again. Ready, let's try it again. I'm a bit, a bit flustered, the, the lava is throwing me off. There we go, there we go. Yes, we made it. We made it. We touched the lava a little bit, but we made it. Okay. All right. Maybe we should have a, a bit of water over here just in case. Uh oh, uh oh, I need some water. Give me some water. I survived. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. I think we should have a water trough here. So when you do come out, you can at least put yourself out if you do touch the lava. Okay. We'll do that. And then we can move over to this one. This is the next one. And this is going to be a, a little quiz. This is the beginning of the second trial. This is going to be a, a little quiz. Well, it's going to be one question, but one question that could kill you if you get it wrong. <laughs> so what's going to happen is this is going to be the entrance way. You're going to come in here and there's going to be a question with four possible answers. And the answer is going to be, be above each of these doors right here. Oh, hello, guy. Do you want to take part? See you later. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying, there's going to be answers, potential answers above all of these doors, four potential answers. And all you need to do is pick the answer you think is correct, stand on the wall and press the button. And that button will either open the door and let you through, or it will release this piece of wool and you will fall to your doom. <laughs> so you have to get the question right. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. Let's deal with this guy and then we can get building. The redstone is in and we can give this thing a test. I think it should all be working. So here we are with our four options, with the four buttons to select which one you think is the correct answer. And you have to stand on the wall as I said before. And we've got the, this uh, piece of uh, string in here, uh, which this observer is looking at so we can detect if a player is inside a cell or not. And you have to be inside because if you're not and you start pressing these buttons, nothing happens. So you can't cheat, you can't go and press the buttons and work out what's what. So what you have to do is you have to stand inside one of these cells. And when you do, uh, then it's a case of pressing the button and if you get it wrong you fall down so obviously we can uh, we can have some kind of killing uh, mechanism down here maybe it's going to be a long fall down maybe it's going to be lava maybe it's something else so we'll come on to that uh, in a bit but if you get the answer correct let's just see what happens so the correct answer is actually this one right here press the button and you'll let through and then you can go through here and uh, this will be closed of course so you flip this lever that will let you out and that will link up to the second door right over there which we'll do a bit later on and then there's one more to go so let's look at the redstone super quick so underneath here let's have a look so for the incorrect answers uh, all of those are wired up the same so first of all like we have back here the observer looking at the string so when you stand into that module that will push this redstone block away so that's uh, removing the power uh, from this from this piston right here but there is a torch underneath as well and uh, basically there is a redstone line over here so that wires up to the button so when you press it if you get it wrong, of course, then that will depower this torch. That means there's no more power for this piston, which will retract it, and then you fall, fall down. That's the same for all the incorrect answers. The correct one is slightly different uh, in that we have basically an AND gate right here. So let's work back from the door. So this is the door under here, which is which is uh, currently closed. But when, it's, uh, when this torch gets powered, then it will open. And we just have to basically reverse the power of this. So this is the line going this way, and we've basically got an AND gate. So this block is underneath the button, so that will depower this torch. And also this torch right here is uh, powered by, uh, right at the back there, it's a bit hard to see, but basically this redstone block, this one right here that gets pushed out, then lights up this line, which depowers that torch. So if uh, both torches are depowered, the one that, so you're standing in the correct cell and you've pressed the right button, that means this line is depowered, which opens the door. Oof. <laughs> Hopefully that makes some kind of sense. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool. So that's all basically done, functional. So we need to add the killing mechanism underneath and just build this up a little bit so we can't just, you know, jump over here. <laughs> um, that would be cheating, of course. Um, I'm not sure how much of this I should build up because Whip is going to come in and make this stuff look good. So I might just put something temporary in here just for the time being and he can come back and change it out for whatever he likes. All right, let me do that. And then we can move on to the final, the final puzzle, which will be over here. 
I've made a start on the third and final test, which is over there, but we'll come back to that in a second. But over here, I've done a little bit more work. So I've uh, just boxed in all of these cells, so it's nice and easy to get into. Uh, we need to work out a question and put it here. And then the answers, potential answers are going to be above each of the doors, just like this. And we've also got a little viewing area. So uh, once the sausage comes in here to answer the questions, we can come up top and just watch him and see, see him struggle <laughs> to answer the questions. And also I've added uh, a couple of different ways or a few different ways for him to die if he gets it wrong. So if he gets it wrong over here, he'll get killed by cactus, by lava. And this one is a fall all the way down to bedrock. Can't quite see it there, but that goes all the way down to bedrock. So yeah, three different ways to die if he gets that answer wrong to that question, which we need to work out and yeah, get it in here. So that's all done. I've also added a ladder and a bit of uh, a few more blocks over here to this one. So similarly, we can go up this ladder and stand on the top and watch him when he does all the parkour in, inside the uh, inside all of the lava just there. Obviously, Fripp, as I said before, it's going to come back and make sure all this looks uh, beautiful. <laughs> so I'm just doing the technical side of things. And over here, this is the last one. This is going to be a little maze. So what you're going to do is come up to this, press the uh, trapdoor down. So you go into swim mode and then you go through through these tunnels just like this and there's going to be various ways to go we can go this way or we can go over here and then go this way obviously I need to uh, f finish this up so we've got to lay down all the paths down here and all of these channels as you can guess are going to be filled with water so if you're not quick enough the exit's going to be just over there if you're not quick enough you're going to drown <laughs> so you've got to be a bit quick about this and you know get, get on with it there's going to be one saving grace which is going to be this bubble column which will give you some air so um, i'm debating whether to have that or not i think yeah try and be fair about this i don't make it too difficult i want to make it doable but also, you know, have a bit of fun at the same time. So, yeah, so all we've got to do now is just place down uh, all the glass that, that gives us all of the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the kind of the pathways, yeah, the maze pathways, and then a layer of glass all along the top. So, again, we can spectate, we can stand along on top, watching him swim around, <laughs> going the wrong way, getting lost. That should be pretty cool. And then once we've done that, then we've got to wire up the three piston doors, which are going to go over there. So we'll do that next. There is the pick of destiny. It's not the actual one, but uh, just a placeholder for now so we can see it all the way through the doors. And I've wired up the first one. We'll look at that in a second, but let's check this out. This is the maze all completed. So we can run one on top and you can see all the different waterways. There's definitely some, some dead ends and some ways to get lost. I've tried to add some light as well so uh, we can see it all. And uh, when you come out of the exit, which is over this side, you can walk, walk around here. Here's the door. And this lever is going to link up to the final door at the very end which will then uh, allow you to uh, get access to the pick over there. So I've dug out a whole area here and I've wired up the very first door. So this is like an Etho style door. So I've not looked at how he actually made it. I kind of invented this myself. Well, not invented it, but you know, kind of did the warren up myself. That's my first actual sort of piston door like this. So yeah, it looks all right, I think. And obviously we've got this line here. So this is the door closed. And when we flip this lever, the door's open. Nice. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Nice. So the floor level is going to be just here. So I wanted to make sure that the redstone is underneath so we can add whatever floor we like just here, just like this. So that's going to be like that. So you can walk along and get in and that's going to be like this. And of course, when you walk through, there won't be any visible redstone or pistons or anything like that. So that's going to be pretty cool. So we've got to wire this, this line up to the first door, which is going to be over the lever that's on the other side of this door, which is just around just around here and I've added the water trough just in case <laughs> you need it. So yeah, I think we're, we're pretty good. So just got to build up uh, the doors for the, the, the second two doors, get those in and then make sure that their, their, their activation lines uh, wire up to the correct, uh, the correct levers for each of these little puzzles. So one there, one there, and one over there. And then we're pretty much done. Need to get Fripp over here, give him a quick demo, I, I suppose, uh, show him what's what, and then he can, uh, he can, yeah, we can pass the torch over and he can finish this up. And with that, the redstone lines are in, all the doors are complete and wired up end to end. So we, we are good. I think we're done. <laughs> so we need to uh, need to find Fripp. He's not online just yet, but when he does, uh, I'll give him a quick tour of this stuff. But uh, I've set up uh, a little bit over here. So we've got a bed and a chest for your stuff. Um, this is just temporary, just to remind us that we need to put this down somewhere. And we've got the first, <laughs> the first map, which is the floor is lava, quite literally. So we've got that. Press the button to start. So that's all good. And I've wired up the first door. So this lever here should activate that first door. So if I flip this, there you go, it opens. So there you go, that is there. So we just got a very simple redstone line that goes down here, all the way along there, a few repeaters, and then ends up into uh, into the door just, just here. <laughs> so there we go. And then the next one, so the second one over here, we've got, uh, let's look at this one. This one is called the quiz of death. <laughs> 
<laughs> so over here, just like the others, we've got we've got our lever just there, the redstone line underneath. And when we activate that one, that should open the second door. Let's flip that. And then we go. The second door is now open. As you can see, one last door to go. And then here, the third map is called the Maze of Poseidon. <laughs> so, of course, we're going to go through it all the way over here. And then if we flip this lever, very simple as before. It's got a redstone line that goes underneath. A few, few, couple of repeaters to extend the signal, and that should have opened the final door. There it is. So if you're if you're sausage and you're here, you've opened up all the doors. We can then walk all the way through, all the way through here. Obviously, we need to decorate the tunnels, all that kind of stuff, and then your pick is here. So there we go. So it's all possible. Um, we've done some testing. So I think what I want to do now is I want to get Flip over here, give him a demo, and maybe let him have a go, just see if he can do all this. I'm sure he could. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's wait for him to come online and yeah, show him what we've done. Hey Fwip, welcome on down to the bunker. I've done a bit of work, so um, I've uh, we've all, I've already shown Fwip all around uh, the, the the general bits and pieces. Um, so I think we were thinking about having maybe maybe a trial run, but I think actually we're going to leave that for sausage for the uh, the full run through. That would be uh, more interesting, I think. So yeah. uh, so what, what, I, what do you I think? Did, I did try my hand at getting through the maze there, and I <laughs> was um, I think I think it'll be a good enough challenge for sausage. So <laughs> these these all look absolutely amazing, though. Yeah, it's yeah. so cool. Yeah, it's yeah, it's really cool actually. So I think I'm trying to get the balance of making it tricky but not super hard. You know, we want him to get his pick, mm -hmm. but just just give him a little bit of a you know a little bit of a test along the way. So um, yeah. So have you got totally. any, have you got any ideas of what kind of style you're going to do? Because I'm oh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you do with this place. It's going to be cool, really cool. You know, I think I, I think I want to go with the cyberpunk theme that I've been doing up above because mm -hmm. this is just kind of you know secrets. You know, hush hush. It's in mm -hmm. the middle of our. It's in the middle of my base. If uh, nobody <laughs> knew that already. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The great secret I think got out a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. But I was thinking that'd be kind of cool because I've been doing, I know there's like redstone stuff down here and I've been doing these cool like really exposed wires using colorful concretes and things and then having kind of like dark muted backgrounds. That could be really cool. So I think I'm going to aim for something like that. I'm really excited to see what I can do down here. It'll be a it'll be a fun challenge though. This is a This is a big spot. And as far as clearing things, I can remove the smooth stone and everything else I'll break everything probably kill myself somehow yeah yeah so yeah so basically the the smooth stone uh, as long as you replace it with well you can put most of the stuff you could just replace with whatever you like so this is just temporary just to give you an idea um i think if we have the glass keep keep the glass on top so we can we can view sausage and you know taunt him while he's <laughs> when he's uh, doing this kind totally of stuff perfect. i think that'd be really good mm -hmm. but apart from that yeah just change up whatever you like yeah it'll, it'll be really good all right and then we still need a question here right mm-hmm Yes, we need to think, so, put our thinking cap on for that. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I figured we have our thinking caps. We have like our own brain cells. And then we got the comment section Ooh. of like their mass of brain cells that usually know way more than we do. Yes. So I think if we, because I know we were planning on finish this up, get it all decorated, then come back with sausage mm -hmm. later and watch him go through all these things. Yep. So if people want to let us know in the comments, any but questions that you have. And hopefully, please give us the answer to it. Minecraft-related <laughs> questions, yeah, I would be... say, are what we're looking for here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then just like some fun, unique Minecraft questions that are a little bit more on the difficult side here. Yeah, yeah, because, I mean, yeah, like I said, we do want him to get his pick. But if he was to die along the way, then, you know, I think we're cool with that, right? <laughs> yeah, and then, you know, the pick, he doesn't really get it. So, you know, it's probably <laughs> yeah. fine. Yeah, it sounds awesome. Yeah, so, yeah, get your, get your ideas, get your suggestions in the comments, and we'll pick our favorite one and stick it up as the question. And picks. Oh, there's a skeleton down here. And make oh. sure you pick a question you think Mythical Sausage won't know the answer to. Yeah, don't make it super easy. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be good. Okay, got him. We're you okay good. then? Yeah, okay. Yeah, awesome. we're safe now. Yep, it's all awesome. safe. I should probably put my armor back on. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right, well, thanks, dude. I think, uh, do I have a torch? I need to pass over the torch for you. Let oh, me, yeah. uh, we gotta, let we me just do this. One. There you go. I've passed over the torch officially. This is now uh, down to you to finish up. The, <laughs> there we go. I'll just put, yep. Awesome. <laughs> this is the exact same one, not from the stack of torches I had. No, no, no. Yeah, t totally. And it was definitely the one I kept separately from all the others. Yeah, uh-huh. We're very good about this. But all right. Yeah. Time for me to get to work. All right. Nice one. Cheers, dude. And with that, we will leave Whip to it. He's a, he's a master of, of building and making things look good. Check this out. This is this is his base. Let's just have a quick fly around here. If you're not watching Fwip, uh, you need to go and check him out because this stuff is unbelievable. Look at this. That's his portal. Just like that. <laughs> he's got he's got a hologram, hologram flower above this building right here. Look at this stuff. This is really good. Let me fly around. Look at this, so good, so good. 
So if you're into your building, then definitely come and check Fripp out. He is a really good builder. Obviously, links in the description to his channel. He's building some really cool stuff. Not just here, he's building a whole bunch of stuff in different places. So you go and check him out. There's, I just noticed an iron farm. He's even building iron farms. No, don't get into technical. This is my area. Oh, there's an iron golem here. Right, maybe I can help him with this. Let's, dude, get in there. There you go. In you go. Into the water. He's in. Okay, there you go. I helped, helped you. I fixed it. I fixed your farm flip. <laughs> Maybe I'll maybe I'll help him fix this up because obviously some golems are are falling where they shouldn't fall. So, uh, but hopefully, is there a killing area down there? There is. There's some lava, and he's going down. Yes, we did it. <laughs> okay. So uh, there's also something we need to check out. So I've heard I've heard on the grapevine there is uh, there is a new game being set up over in the uh, over in the medieval area. So let's go on over here. There is. It should be quite close to the statue that Jem made. So I think we're not too far away. So it should come into view somewhere. Where is it? It's over here somewhere. This direction. There it is. There's the statue. And there should be a building quite close. I think it's this one over here. Let's, let's hop on in and see what this is all about. Here it is, the log cabin where everything is explained. So let's hop on inside. Check this out. Shut the door behind us. Oh, there's a, <laughs> there's a, a sheepskin rug on the floor. All right, here's some signs. Let's, uh, let's get reading. It's hunting season. We're after the most elusive prey, the wandering trader. If you are up for the challenge to join the lodge, you must pay one diamond block, rename it to your name and add it to the barrel. Hunting season begins soon, date to be announced soon. Scoring will be one point per trader head, half a point per trader llama. Winner takes all diamond blocks, fresh heads only, no previous ones. Okay, that sounds pretty straightforward. So we need to place a dime block in here. Let's see who else has signed up. So Fwip is in and also Slice Lime. Okay, so we need to get our diamonds out. And there's no ender chest in here. Jeez, come on, guys. Come on, we're not noobs here. There we go, we're added in. We are now part of uh, the, the Wandering Trader um, hunting season. So yeah, um, I do have some of these already, but of course they won't count, only new ones will count. And it hasn't started just yet. So I have to wait and see when it's actually gonna start. I guess we need to wait for a few more people uh, to sign up and then we could get ourselves uh, yeah, quite a few diamonds. I wonder if there's a way to automate that. Maybe there is, who knows? Maybe I'll do some experiments, see if we can find out. But that is looking super cool, all right. That is the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then please hit the like button. And if you're new, then feel free to subscribe. And if you've got any comments or suggestions, then get it in the comment section. All right, my geeks, until next time, I will see you later.